defense guessing. Ben Roethlisberger takes a look down from under center. First down at the 45. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. And they get to him at the 45. Handing the ball off hasn't been something that's worked for either one of these teams today, Phil. Well, what you have to show on the offensive side when you want to run the football, you got to show some determination. And the guys on the offensive side just get tougher and make it work. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. The Steelers will take the snap from the 45. Should have had it, but the hit knocked it out. Let's just tell it like it is, Jim Nance. His receiver's not a very tough guy because he gets hit. It should have been a complete pass, but he gets hit. He just throws that football on the ground, and the pass is incomplete. Roethlisberger takes the snap from the gun. And he's forced to the ground. Well, that time the quarterback is sacked on the third down, and that's, of course, that's bad. But the good thing is, he did not try to force the football down the field and get the turnover. He's brought down at the 20 yard line. That time he only gets a couple yards, and if I'd have been the Punt returner that time, I would have called for a fair catch. Defense was close. All around you, there was nowhere to go. First down at the 20. Set up screen. And incomplete. What a hit that time. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football is arriving. And he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. Offense lines up here. Second and 10. Play fake. Throw to the left. Calvin Johnson with the catch. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. Quarterbacks always love play action passes. Why? Because it usually gives them a little more time to throw. When you get more time, you're going to make a better decision and you're going to be more accurate. Arian Foster lined up in the backfield. And looking underneath, this will go incomplete. That was an incomplete pass that time against cover two, the two deep safeties. And you really want to throw the football down the middle or deep down the sidelines. That time the quarterback didn't do that, and that's why it was incomplete. Second down and 10. Easy catch there. No one near him. First down here after the completion. They come to the line, and it's first down. That long gain sets them up here on this play. The final quarter begins with this snap. They have the lead, and the spread offense and aerial attack has been the difference maker. Well, every coach wants a quarterback who can get it done. I'd say the guy here today, Jim, he had an outstanding day, and he got it done. What a performance. First down, following the long play. We'll run it. Here's the handoff. Oscar tackled down. And now they'll try over again on second down. Defense ready in the goal line formation on this one. Play action fake. Looking to throw. They're going to get him here for a sack. Well, when you have an offense that likes to send the running backs out and pass routes, sometimes you're going to get in trouble. The defense sends more guys than the offensive line can block, and what happens? The quarterback goes down. Third and 11. Incomplete. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. Should be what we call a gimme. And it's a fake. That time on fourth and goal, the offense goes for it. The defense is all excited. They want to try to stop them, and they make bad mistakes and give up the touchdown. The Steelers getting set now for the point after. 
He's looking to the right. And so they convert it here on the two-point try. <laughs> Steelers setting up here for the kickoff. Ball's loose in on the stop. Well, that's nothing but just, uh, that, that's just luck. That's all you can say. You're the return team. They fumble the football. It bounces out, and they get it back. they lucky there. Now first and ten. He's got some daylight. Has 12 on this play. First down here. Bell takes his spot in the backfield. Ben Roethlisberger dropping back in shotgun formation. Keats churning ahead. Incomplete, looking underneath that time. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. The defense gets a sack. That's what you call pressure. When everything around the quarterback, they're all at his feet. The offensive linemen are around him. He sees the arms of the defensive linemen all reaching for him. There's nothing he can do but fall to the ground. He'll stand back beyond the center in the gun. He'll throw it over the middle. He was looking short, but the pass falls incomplete. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Let's see what he can do here. They bring him down in the middle of the field at the 50. First down on the way. The defense comes out in the dime. Vic in shotgun formation. Launching it deep. Connect. Just not a good decision by the quarterback. I mean, maybe on the sidelines they keep calling the wrong plays, but he's attacking the strength of this cover two defense. Don't do that. Throw where they're not. That's deep down the middle. Second and ten. Down the field. Has it. Touchdown. goes in there and scores again to increase their lead. It's got to give a lot of confidence to the defense. Now can they go out there and do their job? How much does this sting? They get the touchdown, but Phil, they fail to get the two. Uh, Jim, I think it takes a lot away from the football team. It was a terrible decision. Now we'll find out if that one point comes back to Honolulu. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. First down here. Time enough to squeeze in one more play before the two-minute warning here in the fourth. Last play before the two-minute warning. Roethlisberger from the gun. Roethlisberger sends it to Bell. We've hit the two-minute warning in the second half. After the pass play, gain seven. Second and three on the way. Hurry up, let's go! From the shotgun, keeps it on the play fake. Throws the pass. Roethlisberger over to Antonio Brown. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Timeout won't be used here. They'll go to the hurry catch made and that's a big time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker quickly to the line he'll take the snap from the gun looking to the right side and throwing looks but can't connect on the short throw 
The offense needs two yards here on third down following the incompletion. Roethlisberger set empty backfield. They'll go shotgun here. He'll fire it out to the left. Roethlisberger into coverage that time and incomplete. Usually in a situation like this, third short, the advantage goes to the offense because they can run or throw it. Well, they throw it. It doesn't work. Give a lot of credit to the defense. Fair catch this time. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Michael Vick will take it from the gun. Down the field. Paul Mama with the pick. Nice tackle. Give a lot of credit to the defense this time. They got the offense backed up. It's inside its own 20. They're aggressive, and being aggressive gives them a chance to get the interception, and they make it. Nice play. First down and 10. Roethlisberger going down the field. Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players, your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back. They need to make a big play here. Ben Roethlisberger will take the snap out of the gun. From the gun. Out to the left. Catch made. That was just a dumb call. When you throw it behind the line of scrimmage like that, you deserve to lose some yards. That's what happened on that play. Third down at 13. Has his target. It's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Fourth and nine to go, and they're going to go for it. They'll go hurry up now. Won't use a timeout. Out of the gun. Looking across the middle on the money. Oh, they failed to pick up the first, and the ball will go back to the other side. The quarterback should have never thrown at that time. Even though he completes the pass, he should have seen the defense was right there. A loss of a couple yards. They've come out in the dime package. Out of the shotgun formation. Makes the catch. And he gains maybe three. Second down. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Vick in shotgun formation. Underneath, but can't find the mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. They face third down after the incomplete pass. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime from the gun. Complete to Hopkins. Game 13. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Foster takes his spot in the backfield. Fix looking long. Makes the play. The Steelers signal for the timeout. And that's the first one they've used. Offense getting set now, following the timeout. One more play, and it's in the books. No margin for error from just outside the goal line. Good coverage that time as this goes incomplete. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Chip shot here. And it's a fake field goal. Very nearly intercepted. Bill, before we go, how about a little chat about how much this win means? Well, you know, Jim, let's look at it this way. It was just a nice win. It, it keeps your confidence up, and it just gives you a little energy to, uh, to go out next week and try to accomplish it again. This truly was. For Phil Sims, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now, and we leave you with the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game.